Yeah, no.
That was huh. thing that maybe we do like Oh. I wonder what's going on there. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're in the right place. Line, the mics are right here in your aisle. I want to answer as many questions as possible. Um, yeah, we can just, we can just go through. If you have questions about other shows, of course, I'm happy to answer anything. Um, yeah, does that sound, does that sound good? Did anyone go to Rico's panel earlier? The, um, the what's the makeup of Shonen anime? No? Was it fun? Did you guys have a good time? Rico's awesome. Right? I knew he was very nervous about that whole I know where you went. Okay, we'll keep it up over here. But tell us, we haven't been asking people's names when they've been asking questions, and I would like to know your name. So that way, if it's a really bad question, I know. I can yell at you. I'm like, Tommy, go back to your seat. Just kidding. Okay, what's your name? Uh, uh, my, name's, my name is Chase. Chase. Uh, my question is uh, when you're doing the voice for YouTube, Did you know the source material beforehand, or did you just go in not knowing what it was? Yeah, great question. So, okay, let's give you a little bit of backstory. So, uh, I started doing voiceover in 1998. I was 16 years old, and I started doing commercials and like video games and things like that. Nothing like amazing because I lived in I didn't live in Los Angeles, so the opportunities were on a much smaller scale. Uh, but I started acting in 1998. Did this, did that. Uh, finally, in 2009, I think, my first like big show that people would know what it is was Star Wars Clone Wars on Cartoon Network. Yes, Star the Star Wars universe. So this is crazy. So it was my first big show on TV. I booked three episodes, but I didn't know. So sometimes when you get auditions for voiceover stuff. They don't tell you what you're auditioning for. They're like, we want you to sound like this. This is what your character kind of looks like. And they just describe it. They don't show it. And then all the names and locations have been changed in the script. So it's, you know, you're just, you're kept in the dark. So I get a call. And they're like, oh, you booked this audition that you went, went on. And I was like, okay, great. And I went to the studio. And I'm sitting in the lobby. I'm kind of like looking around. I'm like, this is really fancy. This is a really fancy lobby. I got snacks and all that fun stuff. And somebody comes out, the production assistant comes out, and they hand me a piece of paper, and I'm like, oh, thank you so much. I, I was a contract or something. Mm -hmm. You have to sign things all the time. Right. So I get it, and I look at it, and I'm like, why does it say Lucasfilm on the top? <laughs> and then I continue on, and it's like, dear Mr. MacArthur, no one calls me that. On behalf of George Lucas, we'd like to welcome you to the Star Wars family. That was a moment, I was like. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh, it's my turn? Yeah, I'm ready. It was basically like that. I literally walked outside. I called my mom. I was like, Mom, I'm working on Star Wars The Clone Wars. She was like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Always keeping me humble. So anyway, this is a long story. So this is my first like big show, okay? So I was on Star Wars Clone Wars, did a couple other things, other different, different TV shows and whatnot. And then in 2013, two years before it started airing, I booked Star Wars The Forces of Evil. So I booked the voice of Marco Diaz on Star Wars The Forces of Evil. So I worked on that show from 2013 to 2019. So I had an amazing time on that. And while I was doing that, I did other things. I worked on uh, Far, the Far Cry video game franchise. I worked on like a bunch of other stuff. But I never did anime. I just never did any anime. And a lot of anime just didn't come my way. Like, like there's certain, there's like certain um, jurisdictions, I guess, for different projects. And a lot of anime is not union affiliated. And so because of that, a lot of that's changing a lot now, which is awesome because it means more opportunities. That's why you guys are getting so many more um, new actors coming along um, into the anime space. Um, but I was watching 
after Star ended, I was sitting there watching the Mirio Overhaul Deku fight. Like the end of the Overhaul arc in My Hero Academia, which I love. And I was like, these actors are amazing. This is so good. This is so good. I was like, I gotta do it again. It just seems like so much fun. It seems like these people are having so much fun. So I called my agent. I was like, yo, I would like to do anime. How do we do that? He's like, oh, we don't really do that. We don't really do that here. And I was like, mm, let's try it. <laughs> so he, I'm, very, I'm a very convincing person. So he was like, all right. So a few weeks later, I actually auditioned for My Hero Academia. Um, a bunch of different roles on My Hero Academia. I auditioned for Hawks, which my buddy Zeno got. Uh, and Zeno was with the same agency as me, so he was starting to get these new opportunities at the same time. So in that round of auditions, Zeno got Hawks. Uh, my friend Ben Diskin got someone else, I think. Maybe that was the one. But anyway, I didn't get anything. But that's okay. That happens all the time. It's like another wave will come along. So then, shortly after that, this audition for this show comes along called Jujutsu Kaisen. I was like, oh cool, what's this? And I have a friend who's like a walking anime encyclopedia. And I was like, yo, what is this? She was like, uh, every subway in Japan is decorated with posters for the show. Every billboard in Tokyo has Jujutsu Kaisen on it. I think you should spend a lot of time learning about this show. I was like, done and done. My audition's due tomorrow, so like a lot of time. <laughs> so I was like, all right, let me log in. Let me log in on Crunchyroll, let me log in on Funimation, see where it's at. So at that moment, when I booked Yuji Story, or sorry, before I booked it, like when I got the audition, there was three episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen out. Um, and because the turnaround was so fast, that's basically all I could consume. I couldn't like to run out and grab the manga and like try and catch up and hope that I could get it. So I watched three episodes of Jujutsu Kaisen before my audition. Auditioned for Yuji on a Thursday, got the call on Monday that I booked my first anime role and that it was Yuji Itadori on Jujutsu Kaisen. It was crazy. It was crazy. I was, uh, I was on my way to a camping trip that I was not very excited about. And uh, I was in the backseat smushed like with camping gear and I got the call and it was like cutting out because we were in the mountains. I was like, no, yes, hello, yes, what? I think I know what you're saying. I'm not sure. Is that what you're saying? Yes, Yuji? Yes! And it just like, it made, the, it made the whole trip amazing. So, so, walking into all of that, I had about three episodes of knowledge and that was about it. That was about it. Since then, I've like read everything. I'm caught up on the manga. Sorry if you are reading the manga. This is dark days for all of us. Huh? This is very dark. Yeah, very dark. But if you're in the anime, it's still everything's gonna be okay. There's a lot of hope on the horizon. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you. Thanks, man. Great question. Hi. What's Hi. Your... Oh yeah, go. You were about to tell me. Go ahead. Sorry. My name is Riley. Riley. Hi, Riley. Thanks, Chase. My question was, what is your favorite character other than Mandatory? Ooh. Um, okay, so. Faith, like, I, it's so hard. I have something, I, I get to play a lot of really amazing characters. Um, Marco Diaz, my experience on working on a Disney show was really, really fun. Um, the guest stars that they brought into the series were amazing. Like, A-list actors we all recognize and stuff like that. So, I'm just this lonely guy from Northern California and I got to work with all these amazing people. So that was very cool. Uh, plus, the show is really cool. I keep getting very lucky in that a lot of the characters, I don't know if I said this on my panel with Caitlin or if I said this on the voice acting panel this morning, but a lot of the characters that I get to voice aren't typical characters for that type of show. So like Yuji, for example, he's not your typical shonen protagonist. He's not like a self-serving, I just want to get stronger kind of character. He like literally wants to, he swallows the king of curses because he wants to protect his friends. A guy he just met, like, he's a, just a good boy. Same thing with Marco. Marco Diaz is not a typical male character in a Western animated series. He's like a sensitive, loyal friend who can also kick butt. He's not like a rude, um, like rough and tumble kind of guy. He's much different. And then Chifuyu on Tokyo Revengers is also not your typical, like, 
right hand man, you know, he's he's just like so cool. Chibi is so cool. He's like such cool. Anyone not watch Tokyo Revengers? Okay. No, 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 don't boo them. Don't boo them. Don't boo them. Don't them. Yeah, listen, I thought for like the first eight episodes, I was like, why do people like this show? I, for like the first eight, it took me a really long time. And then like episode eight or nine hit, and I was like, oh shoot, I need to know what happens every episode. And every episode had like an amazing cliffhanger. Um, so, long answer is, I don't have a favorite, but I am very lucky to get to play the characters that I get to play. The one character that I like the most is this character from this show, so, you, um, do you think I'm a spider? So what? Is it? <laughs> Listen, I played a character named Barimus. He was in like one episode, and all he did was yell at me. I'm like, get this guy out of here. This is, this is not fun. Anyway, thank you. Riley, right? Thanks, Riley. Hunter! Yep. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> you came to my table. I remember. I was going to ask, um, how does it feel to play Jujutsu Kaisen's main character, but also having the voice of someone else inside your body in the anime. Yeah, well actually, so a lot of people ask me, oh, do you voice Sukuna also? Yeah. Ray Chase, another actor who's been in a ton of stuff, an amazing actor, Ray Chase voices Sukuna. So when I auditioned for Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, this is a little fun fact, I actually auditioned for not only Yuji, I auditioned for Gojo, which... I sound like no joke. <laughs> I also auditioned for Megami, uh, which actually would is more in my wheelhouse than than I would say. Like in in terms of like what's in my wheelhouse, it would probably be like Yuji, Megami, Sukuna, because I can get a little crazy, and then Gojo, because he's just like a sexy man, right? so, like, yeah. sixteen year old guy. Um, so yeah, so another actor voices Sukuna. I, I just think it's like such a cool, the idea of this king of curses living inside the goodest boy makes you like, all right, well, things are gonna get crazy, and they do, where's it gonna end up? And I love that we actually don't have the ending yet, because people are like, I, I love reading speculation and like what, where people think the series is going. People are like, Yuji's for sure gonna die. <laughs> and people, some people are like, there's no way they're gonna kill Yuji. I just think it's super fun. So I'm along, I'm along for the ride. It's a lot of fun. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks, man. Hi. Hello. My name is Aslan. Aslan. Um, cool name. Thank you. What, if you can remember, what is like your favorite line to voice as Yuji? Mm. Well, I think the Juju Stroll in episode 23 is A, my favorite Juju Stroll, and B, the beginning of that Juju Stroll is hilarious to me. So if you don't know which Juju Stroll that is, that's when Yuji comes running into frame, yelling, Gojo! Kukisake! And then Gojo goes, no. Formation B! <laughs> and they run, which also implies that there's that Formation A. When will we see that? Formation C? I don't know. I like to think that Formation C is like just what they, the formation they use to go get Boba or something. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll give yeah, it about one more minute. Like, no, the, head out. You know, I watch all the sub episodes before we watch them because I do feel like I want to. I, I, we can't replicate a performance. It's a There's so many reasons why you can't replicate a performance when you're doing dub to sub. Um, and I think that actually, like, actors that try to do that is a disservice. I do think you have to sort of bring your own voice to a character, even though someone else has sort of a little bit of groundwork for you. Um, but, uh, in the Japanese, uh, version of that Juju Stroll, uh, Junior goes, the Japanese voice actor for Yuji, goes insane. He's, like, literally mad in that part, and I was like, yes, I have that within me as well. <laughs> so, that was, that was super fun. And, um, so... How many people have seen the TikTok that I made where I redubbed Yuji introducing himself to principal to the principal at Jujutsu Tech? Okay, so a lot of you you might not even know where this comes from, but I after episode I think it's either one or two when Yuji goes to Jujutsu Tech and he introduces himself to the principal and he's like, 
My name's Eugene Tadori. I'm in the girls like Jennifer Lawrence. It's a pleasure to meet you. And he's like, this is the boy. I redubbed that line. I was like, Jennifer Lawrence, because you know YouTube likes to talk on the big butt. And I was like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how tall Jennifer Lawrence is, but I wouldn't consider Jennifer Lawrence a tall girl. But I was like, you know who is a tall girl? And who has uh, the other criteria <laughs> in droves is Megan the Stallion. So I straight up redone that thing and I was like, my name's Eugene Tadori. I'm into girls like Megan the Stallion. It's a pleasure to meet you. Right. So not the official line. There you go. What am I Are you sitting out here the whole time, brother? Are you sitting out here the whole time? You must have been that boring. Thank you. 
Yeah. Huh? Oh. Thank you. 